Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. We are in chapter three, applying rational numbers. And today we're talking about lesson four, solving equations containing decimals. So we're going to be kind of reviewing. We solved some equations uh, back in the last chapter, and now we're going to solve equations that contain decimals. So uh, to get started, you can solve equations with decimals. So you can solve equations with decimals the same way you solve equations with whole numbers. And I just want to accentuate the word same. So everything you learned about solving equations, all, you're going to do the same thing. Remember to always perform the same calculation on both sides of the equation to keep the two sides equal. All right, so let's look at this first problem right here. X minus 1.45 equals 6.7. And we are trying to get X by itself. We're trying to figure out what that is. And so we have to, remember, there's two sides of an equation. This is the left side and this is the right side. And in order to figure out what X is, it needs to be by itself on this side of the equation. So right now, is it by itself? No, it is not. There is this negative 1.45 over here. So we have to do the inverse operation which of, uh, of, of subtraction, which would be addition. We have to add 1.45 to both sides, 1.45. And now that I'm adding decimals, I'm going to make sure, remember when you add or subtract decimals, you have to make sure that the decimal signs, at, um, they, um, they line up. So a negative 1.45 and a positive 1.45, those are going to cancel out, and that's going to leave us with x on this side of the equation. And then we're just going to add these decimals. Now, there's no place value here, so we have to make sure that we add a 0 there. And then we just add. 0 plus 5 is 5. 7 plus 4 is 11. We write the 1, and we carry the other 1 up there. And then we have to, uh, the, the decimal just goes straight down. And then 1 plus 6 is 7, plus the other one is 8. And so that is our answer. X equals 8.15. So just remember, whenever you're doing um, uh, subtraction, uh, addition, undo, undo, subtraction, that is the inverse operation right there. Perfect. Okay, let's go on to the next one. It says, um, we're going to look at this problem right here. N plus 24.8 equals a negative 15.2. So we are going to figure out what n is. We have to get n by itself. So on this side of the equation, and right now it's not by itself. There's a positive 24.8. So we have to do the inverse operation of addition, which would be subtraction. And remember, subtraction undoes addition. So we're going to subtract 24.8 to both sides of the equation. And whenever we're doing subtraction, we have to make sure that the decimals um, line up. So what's going to happen? This positive 24.8 and that negative, even though I'm saying subtract, that means that this 24.8 is a negative number. Um, and so a positive and a negative of the same number, they cancel out and they become 0. And so now we have n all by itself on this side of the equation. Now we have negative 15.2 minus 24.8. And this is where we have to take in our um, knowledge with integers. So 15.2, that's a negative number. 24.8, that's a negative number. So what we have is we have two negative numbers. So whenever you have two numbers that are negative, what you do is you just add them together and this, you keep the sign being negative. So that's all we're going to do. We're going to add these to, um, two negative numbers together. So 2 plus 8, that is 0. I'm going to line up the decimal. 0, carry the 1. 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So I write the 0, carry the 1. And then I have 2 plus 1 is 3, and that's 4. So n equals negative 40.0, and I'm just going to say, hey, n equals negative 40. So that's really cool. We're solving equations and all of the integer stuff to um, find our answer. So you guys are kind of putting everything together in this lesson. So it's kind of exciting. You guys are growing and getting better. So how about I want you guys to try these out. Go ahead 
and um, pause, work out these problems. Maybe you just want to do the first couple, maybe the first two, or maybe the first four, um, and then um, press play, and then I will solve them out, and then you could get started with five, six, and seven, eight. Okay, so go ahead and pause, work out problems one, two, three, and four, and come back, and we'll see how you did. All right, we're back. Let's go ahead and solve these equations using decimals. So on number one, we're trying to figure out what E is. So we're trying to get it by itself on this side of the equation. So what I'm gonna do, um, 7.1 is related to E through addition. And uh, we're gonna do the inverse operation of addition, which would be subtraction. So we're gonna subtract 7.1 to both sides. And make sure whenever you're subtracting decimals, you line up the decimal places. So here we have a positive 7.1 and a negative 7.1. Those are going to cancel each other out. And we're left with E equals, this is a positive and this is a negative number. So we're going to take the difference. So we're just going to subtract. And whenever you're subtracting decimals, you make sure that the, the decimals line up. So 3 minus 1 would be 2. 9 take away 7 would be 2. And um, so that's the difference between the two numbers. Uh, you look at 9.3 and 7.1, which number is bigger? And 9.3 is bigger, so the, and 9.3 is positive, so that means our answer is going to be positive. So there we have right there. Um, if you got um, E equals 2.2, great job. All right, let's move on to number two. So number two, we're trying to isolate X and get X by itself. And so to do that, we have to get it by itself on this side of the equation. Right now, there's this, you know, negative 1.9 or subtracted by 1.9, however you want to think about it. Um, but we need to do the inverse operation of subtraction, which would be addition. So we're going to add 1.9 to both sides. And make sure when you add that 1.9, you line up the decimal places, because that's the rule. Whenever you subtract or add decimals, you have to line up the places. So here we have a negative 1.9 and a positive 1.9, and they cancel each other out. They become zero, um, and so now x is by itself, which is what we need. And now we're just going to add these two numbers together. We have 4 plus 9, which is 13. We write the 3. We carry the 1. The decimal comes down. And then we have 5 plus 1, which is 6, plus 1, which is 7. And so that's our answer right there. Um, X equals 7.3. So if you got that one right, great job. You're doing awesome. Okay, on to problem number three. On problem number three, we're trying to get W by itself. So uh, to get W by itself, what is by W? Right now on this side of the equation, there is this uh, negative 8.3. So we need to get rid of that. We need to do the inverse operation of subtraction which would be addition. We're going to add 8.3 to both sides. And make sure on this one we really, um, we uh, what's, what's it called? We line up the uh, decimal places. So those cancel. We're left with W equals. And now when we look at this, we have a negative number and we have a positive number. So whenever you have a uh, negative and a positive, this when the signs are different, you take the difference. And so we need to take the difference between 4.12 and 8.3. Now, how, it, uh, how the problem is now, I just can't do that. So I'm going to go over to my, um, my side of the paper, and I need to put the number that's, on, uh, that's bigger on top. Right now, 4.12 is on top, but that's not the bigger number when I'm trying to find the difference between two numbers. 8.3 is bigger than 4.12, so that means 8.3 needs to go on top, and then um, four point, remember we're lining up the decimals, and I have to find the difference between those two because the signs are different. Uh, I have to, there's nothing here, so I have to put a zero in that place. And then I'm just gonna do the subtraction. Uh, zero, I need to borrow from the three, making that a two, and that's now 10. So 10 take away two would be eight, 2 take away 1 is 1. The decimal just comes straight down. And then we have 8 take away 4, which is 4. So the difference between 8.3 and 4.12 is 4.18. But we need to look at these numbers, 8.3 and 4.12. We have to say, hey, which number is bigger? And 8.3 is bigger, and 8.3 is positive. So that means our answer is going to be positive. 
So you always have to go through those steps. Just because that you find the difference between the two numbers, um, that doesn't mean you're done. You have to look at both the numbers and figure out which number's bigger. And in this case, it's 8.3. 8.3 is positive, so that means our answer is going to be positive. Okay, so if you got uh, W equals 4.18, great job. Okay, let's move on to problem number four. Now, with problem number four, we are trying to isolate B, the variable, and get B by itself on this side of the equation. Right now, is B by itself? You're right, it is not. So we need to get rid of this positive 5.75. Uh, so the inverse operation of addition would be subtraction. So we're gonna subtract 5.75 to both sides, and we're gonna go ahead and make sure that those decimal places are lined up. Whenever you're adding or subtracting, you have to line up the decimal places. So here we have on this side five, a positive 5.75 and a negative 5.75 cancel each other out. We have B on this side of the equation. Now let's go ahead and look at this. 6.2 is negative, 5.75 is negative. So what do you do when you have two negatives right there? That's right, you add them together and then you keep the sign. So we know our answer is gonna be negative and we're just gonna add these two numbers together because they are both negative. So uh, we're gonna put a zero there and then we're just gonna add the numbers. So zero plus five is five, two plus seven is nine, the decimal places come down, and we have six plus five is 11. So um, that just means that negative 6.2 minus 5.75 equals negative 11.95, and that is what B equals. So if you've got all of those right, great job. And now I want you to go ahead and pause again, work on problems five, six, seven, and eight, and then come back when you get done, press play, and we'll see you in a bit. Oh, there's our friend the pause dragon reminding you to go ahead and pause the, your iPad, phone, computer, whatever your device you're on right now. All right, see you in a bit. See you in a bit. All right, we are back. Let's go ahead and um, do number five. Let's see how you did. So in number five, we're trying to isolate T. We're trying to get T by itself. So we have to split the equation into two sides, the left side and the right side. Is T by itself? It is not. There's this positive 39.5, so we have to do the inverse operation of addition, which would be subtraction of 39.5 to both sides. And make sure that when we're ever adding or subtracting decimals that we line up the decimals, okay? Now let's look. Uh, we have 54.1, that is a positive and then we have uh, 39.5 and it's negative. So we have a positive and a negative number. The signs are different. You take the difference. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the difference of these numbers. And it just so happens that if you look at 54.1 and 39.5 independently without one of them being positive and the other one being negative, um, 54.1 is the bigger number and it's on top. So we can just go ahead and find the difference right here because the bigger number is on top and the smaller number is on the bottom. Um, whereas up here, when we were doing number three, the smaller number was on top and the bigger number was on the bottom. And that's why we had to go over here and do it on our scratch paper. Whenever you're subtracting, you always have to make sure and you're finding the difference between numbers. You have to make sure the bigger number's on top and the smaller number's on the bottom when you're finding the difference. So that is the case here. So let's just go ahead and find the difference. So we have, um, okay, the one is not big enough. So we need to borrow from the four. That's gonna make that a three and that's gonna turn this into 11. So 11 minus five would be six. The decimal place just goes directly down. The three is not big enough. Um, so we need to borrow from the five and make that a four and make this 13. So we have 13 take away nine, which would be four. And then four take away three, which is one. Um, let's go over to the other side of the equation. 30, a positive 39.5 minus 39.5, those cancel each other out and we're left with T. So T equals 14.6. Oh wait, I, I, I forgot, but we found the difference. Um, we have to figure out if the number is positive or negative. So look at the numbers, 54.1, 39.5, which number is bigger? 
54.1 is bigger and 54.1 is positive, which means our answer is going to be positive. So there we have it. Our, um, the answer to this problem is T equals 14.6. Right there. You got that right? Great job. Okay, let's go on to problem number six. So in problem number six, we're trying to figure out what P is. That means P has to be by itself on um, this side of the equation. And right now it's not by itself, it has a little friend. It's negative 29.4, so it's P minus. This is subtraction, so we have to do the inverse operation of subtraction, which would be addition. So we're gonna add 29.4 to both sides, and we need to make sure that we line up the decimals. 29.4, I kind of ran out of room there. Um, okay, so these are going to cancel each other out. That's going to become uh, 0, negative 29.4, and a positive 29.4. We end up with P equals, and I'm just, I'm running out of space over here, so I'm just going to do the problem on the side. So 29.4 plus 3.7, and I just switched the order. I put the bigger number on top, and it, it's okay. Um, the decimal, sign, uh, decimal pl uh, points are lined up, so that's great. And then we just add. 4 plus 7 is 11. Um, 9 plus 3 is 12 plus 1 is um, 12 plus 1 is 13. And i got to carry that decimal place down. So uh, this is 13. I write the 3. I carry the 1. And then 1 plus 2 is 3. So the answer is 33.1. So if you got that right, great job. Okay, on to problem number seven. On problem number seven, we are trying to get R by itself, by its lonesome on this side of the equation. And right now it's not by itself. So we need to get rid of um, this, uh, it's R minus 6.25. So there's subtraction going on. So we have to do the inverse operation of subtraction, which would be addition of 6.25 to both sides, and we're gonna go ahead and um, make sure we line up the decimal places. Okay, the negative 6.25 and the positive 6.25 are gonna cancel each other out, and we're left with R equals, um, and then we have to do this over here. So we have a negative 17.3, and we have, oh, a positive 6.25. So a negative and a positive, that means the signs are different. You take the difference. So we need to take the difference between these two numbers. Now, what we know is when we look at the number without the positive or negatives, 17.3 uh, is bigger than 6.25. And so when we take the difference, this number needs to be on top. So um, actually, I'm just going to do it over here on the side. So 17.3 subtract we're finding the difference 6.25 there's nothing here so i need to put a zero there and we're just going to do this problem right here so um the zero we need to borrow from the three because the zero is not big enough this is going to be a two it's going to make that a, a 10 so 10 take away five is five uh two take away two is zero the decimal place comes straight down 7 take away 6 is 1, and then that 1 just drops. So the difference is 11.05. Now, our job is not done because we need to look at these two numbers, 17.3 and 6.25. Which number is bigger? Yes, 17.3 is a bigger number, and 17.3 is negative. That means that our answer is going to be negative. So if you got that one right, great job. Okay, on to problem number eight. So with problem number eight, we're trying to isolate K. We're trying to figure out what K is. So that means we need to get K by itself. Right now it's K plus 9.8. We need to get rid of this 9.8. So there's a, we have to figure out what the inverse operation of addition is and it's subtraction. So we have to subtract 9.8 to both sides. Okay, um, a positive 9.8 and a negative 9.8, they cancel. That means we're left with K equals. Now over here, we have a negative 11.9 and we have a negative 9.8. So what we have is we have two negative numbers. 
Remember the rule when you have two negative numbers, you just add the numbers together and keep the sign. So our answer is gonna be negative, but um, we're just gonna end up adding the numbers together. So nine plus eight is 17. I write the seven, I carry the one, the decimal place comes down. Nine plus one is 10, plus one is 11. So write the one, carry the one, and then one plus one is two. So that's our answer right there. K is equal to negative 21.7. If you got that one right, great job. All right, we are on to the next page. So let's look here. Uh, all right, so uh, 